Equations of planes, example 2. Sketch the plane defined by pi 1, 3x minus y equals to 0. Just as we discussed in example 1, I will again like to go back to lines first, right? And then sketch a plane for you. I thought this approach will help you out, right? Let's first understand line 3x minus y equals to 0, right? Let's say this is our coordinate system, right? Now if I have to sketch a line 3x minus 5, let me write here so that there's no doubt what we are trying to do. We are trying to do line L which is 3x minus y equals to 0, okay? So that also means, okay, so what we do here is, what is the x-intercept? x-intercept is when y is 0. So x-intercept will be y is 0. So it is also 0, right? So x and y intercept for this is 0. That is first thing. So we get x-intercept as 0. y-intercept is also 0, correct? If I put x as 0, I get y equals to 0. If I put y as 0, I get x equals to 0. That's first part. Okay, so let me write this equation as y equals to 3x. Maybe simpler to draw, right? So, so it is slope of 3, correct? So, you can draw a line which goes kind of like this. Kind of steeper like this. So, you get a line with a slope of 3 and that is how your line is going to look in xy plane, right? Two dimension. Here, we are trying to look into a plane, which is 3x minus y equals to 0, okay? As a reminder, don't just look into the equation. It may be confusing. That part, pi, tells you there's a plane, not a line, okay? So this is very important part of our equation. So let's try to sketch this line. So that's our three-dimensional axis x y and z so let's say this is x y oops and z correct now we need to sketch a plane 3x minus y so let's take some set of points to draw a plane we basically need three points or we need two lines and a point okay now one point is very clear to us if i take x as zero then what is y y is 0. That means that the origin is on the plane which we are trying to do, right? So that is our first point and let's call this as 0, 0, 0. So that's a part of plane, right? Now let's take some more points here, right? If I put x equals to, let us say 2, that means 1 and 1, x equals to 2, then what is the value of y? y will be 6, right? Say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That's the point, right? So that is my point, And that point is x is 2, right? And y is 6. Now you'll note that this point is on xy plane and the value of z is 0, correct? That's how it is going to be, right? 0 for this particular place, right? Fine. Now we get another point. Similarly, if I say what is if x is one, if x is one, then be like x is one, so one, y will be three times one, which is one, two, and three, right? So we get this point. So if I join these points, I get my line three x minus y on x y plane. Do you see that line? So that line represents x y plane a line 3x minus y, correct? So, now we need to sketch a plane which is defined by this. This plane contains the line 3x minus y. Now, let's play with it a bit more. So what we'll do is, we'll add values of z to it, right? So, z could be 1, 2, 3, 4, or whatever, correct? So, when we do that, then see how things change, okay? So, what we will do now is, let's say, so we had 2, 6 and 0 here, right? If I say 2, 6 and 4, 2, 6 and 4, then what do we mean? 
So 1, 2 and 6 is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 4, let's go up. We say let's say 1, 2, 3, 4. So there we are. So that is a point on the plane which also has 3x minus y. Do you see that? 3x minus y is satisfied by this point, right? Similarly, we can have some more points. And if we plot these points, you will note that the relation 3x minus y is maintained for all the points which I am going to draw. Like this, right? So let's take one more point here. So this time, if I say x is, let's say we could take 0, 0 and any value of, if I write 0 and 0 here, it is always true, correct? I can write z as anything, 1, 2, 3, 4, any value. That means each and every point on this axis is included in our plane. Does it make sense? So, for example, this point is 0, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 0, 0, 5 will be represented here by this plane because if x is 0 and y is 0, the equation is satisfied. Do you see that? So, every point on z-axis will be included in our plane. Therefore, now we can draw a plane which will look like this. Let's connect them. So, we've got now plenty of points to play with. And we can always connect them like this, right? This is my point and then this was 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. Let's connect them and that plane. Do you see this plane? Which has kind of all the points on z-axis. So you can look this plane as, as a book, for example, where this is your binder and these are your leaves of the paper, right? So that forms this plane 2x or 3x minus y equals to 0. Okay. So on this plane, you will notice few things. One is that origin is on the plane included, right? Origin is included, lies on the plane and z-axis. So z-axis is included, right? And one more thing which you notice is what is, how does the plane intersect with xy plane? It's along a line and this line is 3x minus y. Do you understand? So when you have an equation like this, then the intersection of our plane with xy plane is 3x minus y. So 3x minus y is intersection. of our plane pi 1 with x y plane. Do you see that? So these are the characteristics of our plane which has two variables. right? So here we have two variables x and y. We don't have z here, right? So z could have any value. So the important thing is if I have an equation which is let us say y plus z then x could have any value. So we'll have a leaf where everything is bound on the x-axis, correct? So that is how you could draw a plane with two variables, correct? Always origin will be included in them. So that is how, uh, you know, I, we should visualize this kind of a plane. I hope you understand now how to sketch a plane with two variables, x and y. So if you now compare with your own original equation, it says, a is 3 and y is minus 1, c is 0. Since c is 0, any value of z can satisfy your equation. And d is 0 and therefore origin is a part of this plane. Correct? So that's another way of looking at it from the equation point of view. Now here are a few questions which you would like to check whether you can answer or not. If you have difficulty answering these questions, put down your comments and we will see how to do it. Explain that the above plane contains z-axis. You have to explain how z-axis is really covered by this plane 3x minus y. 
verify that origin lies on the above plane. How will you verify that origin lies on the plane? That's question number five. Question six. Describe the intersection of plane with xy plane. Well, all the three questions have been answered for you in this. I would like you to add here a question. Think about the plane pi 2, right? So let me add here question 7. Question 7 is sketch pi 2 plane where it is 2y minus z equals to 0. Okay, and then write, answer these questions relevant for pi 2 plane. That will be a good exercise for you to do. Okay, thank you.